lot of time for us to share a good news story out of Jefferson County. This story comes to us from viewer Joel Dixon. A team of real estate agents is donating their own money and fundraising to give away several college scholarships. CBS 42 News reporter Ariana Garza has the inspiring story that prompted the donations. The real estate team works with Terry Mills of Keller Williams Vestavia. Mills has suffered many hardships in his life, which inspires him to give back now. But what stands out about him most is his smile and positivity when he talks about those past struggles. Of course, we want to make money and be successful, but that only has a shelf life, right? Like, how many people did you positively impact is more about what my calling is. When you look around Terry Mills' Grandview office, his life looks like a fairy tale. But most fairy tales start with loss and struggle. I saw our life go from here to here and then back up again. The McAdory High School graduate studied criminal justice at UAB and spent nine years working in the parole industry for a local private company. But after nine years, he was laid off. That's when he turned to real estate and joined Keller Williams Vestavia. He's received numerous awards, and he and his team decided to find a way to share their blessings. We always think of ways to give back, and so the scholarship fund was something my, my team and I came up with. Uh, we just said, hey, why don't we figure out a way to give back to where we can impact people, and you know, it, it's a win-win for everybody. Mills played football at UAB, but didn't have an athletic scholarship, so that led to a tough choice that he hopes he can help future students avoid. Because I was an athlete, I couldn't get a job either, and so. The struggle was real. Like, people think athletes and college students have it made, but they don't. Like, it was to a point where mom said, Mom would say, Well, look, you're either going to play football or get a job. But other than that, I did my part. And so I had to let it go and get a job. And, and that's how I finished college. But yeah, any help that you can give students these days is going to be great. In addition to fundraising for scholarships, Mills and his team also contribute a portion of each of their closing checks to the fund. To me, it's more about like legacy. I, I want to I want to be one of those people like when I die, what did Terry Mills do besides just sell a bunch of houses, right? I mean, that's not fulfilling for me. I feel like God's giving me a bigger purpose and He's giving me this platform for for something bigger than myself, and so that's. That's really what it is. I mean, they've raised six thousand dollars that will be distributed evenly between six lucky students this spring. They'll begin accepting applications for the next round of scholarships this summer. In studio, Ariana Garza, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on. I really like what T Mills is doing there. Yeah, it's really great to start something that then mm -hmm. hopefully will have a domino effect and yeah. more people will hopefully get involved. And with that amount, I mean, that's real money going to. Six real people. That's going to make a huge impact. And sharing the blessings, as they said. Yeah. Yeah. And always uh, remember where he came from. Yeah. Humble beginnings and struggling through college, and it's going to help out the uh, six lucky kids and possibly more in the future. I'm sure. Yeah. More in the future. A truly good news story yes, there. We want to hear about others. Something happening in your community, in your neighborhood. Someone making a difference. Let us know about it so we can share the good news. All you have to do is send us an email to goodnews at cbs42.com, or you can inbox us on our social media pages.